Greeting and salutations gamers. This is John the Game 64, the legend, the one and only, yours truly. And I welcome you to a very special international edition episode of John the Game 64's Munchies Review. So we are gonna be tasting two treats all the way from JA Pan. Well actually these originated from JA Pan, but we got them here in Vegas, so. So we're going to be testing out these uh, Jean Jean uh, Jelly Strips. So we actually picked these up from uh, Fuku Burger because uh, me and the fam actually went down there. Then, you know, we uh, tipped the cashier, so we ended up getting these like very special Japanese uh, jelly candies called uh, Jelly Strips. So we got two flavors. So we got strawberry and cherry. I'm not sure why cherry is kind of like whitish. I think you know with like gummy bears, I think it's usually like pineapple or something else. But yeah, of course strawberry is pink. We know that deal. <clears throat> so uh, along with uh, going to Fuku Burger, after uh, me and the fam enjoyed some pretty tasty burgers, we went to this little. Uh, Cafe slash bakery called like Suzuya Pitasserie. I'm sure I mispronounced that, but link in the description, all that good stuff. So, yeah, so ended up picking uh, what's known in Japan as a fruit sando or basically a fruit sandwich. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I've uh, been wanting to try some of these tasty treats that you know I couldn't taste because I'm not in Japan but luckily those places cater to Japanese like culture <laughs> so we got the jelly strips and the fruit sundae so it's funny like uh, as far as like jelly desserts the only one that comes to mind is the coffee one from that one anime called uh, the disastrous life of Psyche K <laughs> That dude was obsessed with that. So hopefully these are just as good. Hopefully they taste like Jello or something. But yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start off with the strawberry. Can't mess up strawberry. Man. Okay, so let me open this sucker up. Oh, okay. There's like a little slit here. Yeah, on the side of it is like a little slit, so you can uh, open it. Kind of like a mozzarella stick, or no, like those uh, cheese sticks you get from the grocery store. Oh, squirt it! Oh, I wasn't trying to taste it already. <laughs> it just happened, guys. It just happened. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it looks very suggestive, doesn't it? <laughs> I assure you, it is a jelly strip. It tastes okay. It could be a little sweeter. I mean, you kind of get the essence of strawberry, but not quite the full experience of a strawberry, you know, with the sweetness. It's like very bland jello. <laughs> like you get the hint of the strawberry flavor, but not the sweetness. Like not as sweet. Doesn't taste horrible. Okay. Mm, could be a little sweeter. Could be a little better. Well, let's see how the uh, cherry one fared here. Cherry bomb. Okay, so here we go with the cherry bomb. I 
I don't know if it's because I just tasted a strawberry one. I think I'm like, well, it's gonna taste the same. <laughs> I'm like, just give me a second to process it, just to uh, make sure it doesn't taste the same. That is like the very faintest hit from cherry. Again, not not super sweet either, or just not like as sweet as an actual cherry. I mean, even regular Jello is sweet. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the cherry jelly strip from Jean Jean. <laughs> Jean Jean from Tekken. I'm gonna play as Jean Jean. Because <laughs> he has the devil Jean Jean. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, weren't horrible. Weren't amazing either. But, okay. Alright, so this is the main attraction here. So the coup de gras of this episode the Fruit Sando! With my favorite strawberries in the middle. So yeah, there's like some that have like different fruits, but. Strawberry one always, you know, gets my attention. Alright, nice triangle shape here. They cut off the crust just like, <laughs> like your parents would do when they make your lunch back in the elementary school. <laughs> Love it. All right, all right. Without further ado, folks. See, I wonder if it's gonna be like tapioca, cream cheese, or something else. too bad. Some sort of cream. I'm just trying to place it here. I don't think that's tapioca. Yeah, the cream does taste good. I'm not gonna lie. Strawberries are definitely fresh. Holy smokes. <laughs> and I like how the, the cream is like very nicely whipped. Like not runny, no, not like, uh, how would you say? It doesn't have less buoyancy, so it's nice and fluffy. Like the cream tastes good. Or maybe it's like a custard. That's what I was thinking of, actually. Hmm. Custard's not overly sweet. I mean, I guess that's good. You don't want, like, something, like, too sweet. Like, overpoweredly sweet. delicious. Yeah, sure. The bread is great. Strawberries are fresh. The custard is nice and whipped. Nice fluffy. Not too sweet either. So, yeah, I'd say this one's a winner, man. I gotta say, this is probably my new favorite uh, Japanese dessert. <laughs> a lot better than the jellies, for sure. Maybe the coffee jelly would be better. I still want to try coffee jelly, like in the Zestrous Life of Psyche K. Okay, that is amazing. 
Holy crap. <laughs> That's what I love to see in, like, uh, the Kirby games. It's like, I'm not sure if he's eating fruit sando or if it's just a regular sandwich. But being a game from Japan, I'd like to think it's fruit sando. <laughs> okay. That was great. That was great. I'm not from Suzuya, Pantaneer, and Cafe. Bakery. So yeah, check them out, man. That is awesome. That is an awesome fruit sandwich. A fruit sando! But yeah. Alrighty, folks. So, yeah. That covers this international edition of Johnny Gamer 64 is one review. So until next time, love, peace, chicken grease.